we worship you. We honor and glorify your name because of the privilege to come again to pray. Thank you, Lord, because of the name of Jesus that is higher and greater than every other name. The Bible says, we shall not fear thee, O God, and glorify your name. Scripture says, who can you liken? Obviously, there is no one to be likened unto you or compare with you. You are greater than I am mightier than everyone. Spirit of the living God, even as we go into a session of prayer now, you will move mightily and powerfully in our midst. You will glorify your son, Jesus, and you will do wonders in Jesus' name. As Amen. We pray in heaven concerning the case at hand, and we call upon your name, and we call upon you, and we cry to you, we pray, oh Lord God, that you will move, you will supernaturally move, and you will solve this problem once and for all. We put the enemy to shame in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. A glorious and great testimony, and your name alone will be highly glorified. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for your answer. Thank you, Father. Mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, before we before we go into the before we go into the Okay. Sorry, sorry, sir. Are you with the key? The key to open. You have it with today. Okay. Pastor, sorry. I, I have a visitor in my house. He wants to go out. Let me, I want to open for him. I'm coming. Okay. Okay. to thank the Lord. Let's begin to reverence him. We worship you. We give you all the glory. Let's open our mouth and give you the Lord, we reverence your name for your goodness. We thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the privilege to sleep and wake up. We exalt your name for the peaceful sleep you give us. We do everything you have done. O Lord God, we worship and bless your name because you are the great king. We exalt you, Lord God, but it's not like unto thee. We thank you for having the privilege to come together and yet again to call upon you and worship your name. We exalt you for everything. We say glory, honor, and glory. Thanksgiving be unto your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for this new day. This is the day that you have made, Lord. You know, we rejoice and be glad in it. Father, thank you for all that you've been doing for yes, us. Name Lord, the thank you. Amen. Um, we thank God for something. I told us. I told us something ago. I told us some time ago how I applied for something. Uh, and I later traced the thing that uh, it was actually from uh, Canada. The teaching I told us um, for the undergraduates, and uh, eventually myself and one other young man were taken, and uh, they had me to us online, and uh, it was then we told the reason why they considered two of us out of the people that applied. So currently now I lecture at uh, Western Pinnacle University at Ontario mm -hmm. in Canada. As the school is based in Canada in Ontario, so it's a global university. And uh, uh, I know God did it because later what the doctor I even had a meeting with only only me online, and he specifically told me how I was preferred. I practically saw the book of Daniel being fulfilled where the scriptures say, and Daniel was preferred above all. He was telling me a lot about me and all that. And even trying to like, he wants to convince the president so that they can permit me and all of that. If at the MOU, they send me eight pages every week. When I read to the MOU and all of that, before I signed it and sent back to them, 
I just internally, you know, because this this whole thing started small. I remember some years ago. But as it stands now, you know, God announcing me here and there, having clients, you have clients in the US, you have this one, you have people are calling you and all that, who are getting to know in different parts of the different places. And, and I know that some of these things is simply the mercy and the, as a part of smartness, sound, academically and all that. They also understand that um, there's this thing we call mercy and favor, speaking for someone and all that. So I really want to thank God for the global visibility that God has brought. And you remember, uh, there was this particular month that uh, Pastor Matthew led a prayer. I cannot forget that day where all of you pray, pray, pray. The, the prayer was very hot. And then you were praying for me. Even my wife was saying amen that day because the, the prayer took some minutes before they stopped the prayer that day. I think at a point, I even knelt down in my house, if I remember very well. So I want to be grateful to God. As God is doing it for members, he's also doing it for the leaders. And I trust that it will go around. As many of our leaders and pastors who are still struggling one way or the other, God will settle them and establish them. God answers prayer. And God must do something that it will go on to everyone. God will show his mercy in Jesus' name. So Amen. want to thank for all that he's doing, his mercy, the answers to prayer, and the, the glory God is bringing to us. We want to thank the Lord and honor his holy name. We need godly people in the in the affairs of this life. We need godly people in the in a in the space <clears throat> where they see young men and women. We need godly people. We can't leave it for the ungodly people. Let's thank the Lord for what God is doing already. And then from some of the people, even some of our leaders that are aware, if I, you will see somebody will be telling, oh, God, I've just started with you. God, I've just started with you. Even my good pastor wife was like telling me yesterday, oh, God, this is just the beginning, all those things. And I know that oh, God is still taking me somewhere, somewhere where the whole world will be aware. Of the gift. Let's thank the Lord for all that God is doing. Let's Father, worship. we just worship you. My Lord, the King, we bless you. Father, thank you on behalf of your son. Well, thank you for this great testimony because a lot of people applied for this thing. In fact, when it started, he never even knew it was Canada. He thought it was South Africa. And we're still praising God Good. that which has started. But this morning, I'm glad, I'm happy to hear that God you have perfected it. This is just the first step. The major first step is taking. Oh, Lord, we now worship and bless your name for your servant. We pray that even more and more you do in this life, oh, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. And all of that servants of God looking up to you say, God, I'm going to do my own. Father, this morning we pray, O oh Lord, that you answer every one of us speedily, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. This morning we will be praying for people majorly. We'll be standing in the gap for people. And let us understand that April 18th mm -hmm. had been slated for the uh, court case. And we are going to judge the case before the case is judged in the courts. Mm. We are going to case. We are going to conclude the case on our own in prayer and determine the outcome. And then whatever we have determined, whatever we have concluded, whatever we have said here, that final, it will not be done otherwise over there. You know why? Amen. Whatever shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Oh, yes. Okay on earth shall be lost in heaven. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to exercise our authority. We have authority. We are not sinners. By the grace of God, we have been made justified by the blood, by the grace of God. And we are God's servants. When we decree and declare here, it will be sanctioned by this host of heaven, by God himself. We want to go before God this morning and first and foremost, we're going to pray for a particular brother who reached out to me after the, I think the last week prayer, after the last week Monday prayer, 
And then uh, we have been talking since then. I don't know him. I've not seen him before. I think it was it just on this platform that I got to know him. And he was appreciating for the prayer online and all that. You know, we may not know. Let me say this. People are being blessed. You know, I, I didn't want to talk yesterday. I didn't really want to talk. I really want to, I didn't want to go into, even Pastor Peter was like, I don't like me, that I didn't talk and all that. So I was just moved, I was quiet. Now, a lot of people are being blessed. Now, whether it's few people that attend at times, or sometimes maybe where we have 20, 18, 19 and all that, people are being blessed. That's the truth. How do I know? I have people that chat me up. Now, there's this sister that, I know I was monitoring that time. She would tell me this, she would tell me this. And she, they are internally grateful because the truth is that from what they, they converse with me, if, even this brother who chatted me last week, and they how he started the talk and all that, and then how he had to have now open up some things that is going on in his life, and then I had to encourage him, and we spoke and all that. But all the same, we are still going to pray for him. And the other people on the platform, they may not openly come out. It's just like a, a, a man who loves his wife so much and is doing so much for the wife, but he cannot express it. He cannot just keep saying, oh, I love you, dear. He's just demonstrating it, but he cannot verbalize what he's saying and all that. There are people that they are being blessed, tremendously being blessed on the platform, but you don't see them coming out to share testimony or, or coming out to express uh, what God is doing. But they know that they are being blessed. Sometimes they drop their prayer requirements without joining the platform. They may not know it's a prayer. And it's a prayer that will, uh, you know, that the people of God have led and prayed about that probably brought about the intervention in their life. They may not know. They will just see that there was an answer to what they have been expecting. But they will not know. And we don't have to be looking for applause, applause of people, clapping of people. No, not at all. All of these things have their own reward when we get to the other side. And that's why we're not doing anything just for the praise of men or whatsoever. We're not even doing anything just for the to please men. But all we are doing is so that his name in the end will be glorified. So this morning is basically about intercession. And I'll be leading various intercessory prayer. And then when we end it with our Pastor Matthew and all of the things will be calling to God for the court case and every other thing. First and foremost, we're going to be praying, please, uh, as I lead us, I beg us in the name of the Lord to pray. I want to play with us. We're starting with the, the platform now. We're going to ask the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ, God's intention for establishing this platform, God's intention for bringing this platform to pass for over the years now, that that intention will be a reality. In the name of Jesus Christ, there's an intention in the heart of God. Pastor mm -hmm. Matthew created the platform. The platform was not just created some years ago. It was oh. created to achieve a purpose. Yes. That purpose will be achieved. That purpose. that purpose will be accomplished. Yeah. To the Reason. glory, to the Why honor. Platform Shall we talk at of our brother, our pastor, Father, we pray that that purpose will be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, you do something because of something. Father, in heaven, you do something because of something. You have created this platform because you want your people to be blessed. You have created this platform, this platform because you want to bring people together, people that don't even know themselves. Father, in heaven, we pray that this purpose, why this platform was created, Father, for fulfill it in our lives, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, visit your people today, Lord. Father, we pray. Today, Lord. Amen. We're going to pray and tell the Lord, by the precious name of Jesus, all the antics of the devil, to see that there's an end to this very platform, all the manipulation and maneuvering, all the misunderstanding, all the kind of antics and tactics of the devil, all the manipulation and maneuvering, all those things that sometimes you just find some scammer as uh, scaring people away by what they say or doing some funny, funny thing. Thereby, they begin to say the platform like a scamming platform. We are going to pray in the name of Jesus. The schism of the devil and the manipulation of the wicked will not work. Shall we pray? Let's Amen. talk to God. 
Father in heaven, we come before you bring this platform before your throne. We pray, O oh Lord, that every manipulation to God in prayer, from the pray. prophet, trying to bring problem, confusion, and make people run away from this platform. Father, we cancel every one of them, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, you never lift all this platform before your hand. This is a place where you have connected your children all over the globe. Even we don't even know ourselves in person. Some we have not even seen on camera. But yet yeah, there is a relationship, there is fellowship among us. The devil is not happy for this because of this is doing different kind of things, bringing kind of confusion. Father, we cancel every plan of the devil because confusion amongst us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray. There are some prayer requests on the platform. And uh, particularly, I saw one this morning. And uh, the person was, uh, I even said the person should connect. The person is not feeling too well. I do not know if he's married or not. But we're going to pray right now that the person will begin to feel well. The part of the law will hit the person, but I. She does say by name that God touch him, God will touch him, God will transform his health in the name of Jesus. He will be fine in his health, it will be all right, it will be okay. In the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord brother, I saw that request this morning too when he says it's not been feeling fine. We pray, oh Lord, that you strength support your hand of healing. I'm touching right now, but she goes there. We command in the name of Jesus, Eli from above, come upon you. That from above, come upon you in the name of Jesus. Father, you said by the strength of our Lord Jesus Christ, we will be healed. We come before your throne this morning. Reaching you on behalf of Brachin, she does it. We pray that your power will touch him, you will heal him, and you deliver him, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. This is your servant, O oh Lord. This is your servant, O oh Lord, and complete the healing which you have started already, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Visit your son this morning, O oh Lord. Amen. Amen. Somebody may be asking, I thought uh, Monday prayer is for marriage. Everything we are doing is still part of the home and part of marriage. If someone is not too fine, it will affect, even if he's not married, it will affect if he's with his family. Even if he's married and he's sick, there will be a problem. The family will be in disarray. They will be running elter scatter. And so whatever the way I'm, I'm, I'm leading the prayer, just know that it's still particularly about the home, about the children, about the family. There's another prayer request here. It says, oh God, please grant my three children lucrative employment uh, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You know, I like this prayer request. I will tell you why. This person was very specific. Actually, his mommy Bose that they sent this prayer request. And she's very specific. Uh, how do I mean? Lucrative employment. Now, there are many people when they are praying, they will be praying as if they are beggarly, as if uh, God cannot do something juicy and something amazing. Uh, I wish I were time to talk about that. That when we are talking to God in prayer, we are very specific in the place of prayer. Uh, you imagine someone is coming to God, hey, oh Lord, uh, whatever you can give me, even if it's a job of 10,000 naira, that is not humility. That is somebody uh, not understanding his identity in the place of prayer. That is someone not understanding that God is so big that he can do the biggest thing. But that doesn't mean that the person must be greedy, but at the same time, you don't belittle God as if he cannot do big things. So this is such a good prayer point. And we're going to pray. Is it that for God to do? Not at all. Can God do it for the three children? Of course he can and he will. Of course he can and he will. How do I know? For the scripture we know. Ask and it shall be given. And this morning we are told to ask in Matthew 7, 7. We are here to ask. And everyone that asks receive it. That's what we are told. Everyone that seeks find it. 
and adding everyone that knock it. You see that scripture say everyone. That's why every request that is tendered before God this morning shall receive and sound in Jesus' name. Every Amen. before God this morning, there will be speedy answer from heaven. We want to pray right now in the precious name of Jesus, locative employment shall attend the way of these children. Locative Amen. employment, the way it is put, the way it is said, the way it is Lord, we pray, O oh Lord, that we connect these children open doors that no man can shut before them, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord God, in heaven, you have helped them through school, you have helped them through service. Father, the purpose that they have done all this is to get good works that will be able to do work that will be able to scatter for them and scatter for us too. Father, we pray, oh Lord, that you open heaven for these children, Lord, in Jesus' name. But that's starting from today, Lord, we pray as we have agreed in unity of faith with my brethren, O oh Lord. Father, you will connect them and open doors for them, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, let's understand something quickly here. Um, here is the mother who dropped a prayer request concerning her children. And it is there in the Bible, or should I show us? It is there in the Bible that you will eat the fruit of your labor. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. It's the Bible. In fact, the scriptures say you will not sow and another reap. And that's mm -hmm. the book of Isaiah. You know? That you will not sow. That, that was so. In other words, mm -hmm. a lot of money was expended on the three children. Obviously, they have gone to school, obviously. And if you were to consider all of the expenses on the head of the children, you know that millions have sunk in. Millions have sunk in. And we God is the God that rewards. God is a rewarder. We are going to pray in the name of Jesus. The parents of the three children, they will reap the fruits of their labor. That's the point. Amen. Go ahead. Prayer. Father, we come before your throne of mercy this morning. Father, you have said in your word that we will reap the fruit of our labor. Father, of a truth, as we Sabbath and said, we have labored on these children. It is time to have a bit from our labor. Father, we pray. In the house, in the name of Jesus, Father, you open the door for this children. Say we should ask. Have you not all three? We shall ask. No, as a group of this morning, we are asking as if we are not. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, it is the fruit of our labor. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. Lord, no man can shut, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Okay. Lord, in the Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Lastly, on this on this issue, <laughs> that the Pastor Peter and the wife their life will be prolonged. It will not be at the point. Now, I, I hope you have read stories, stories where parents will sponsor children, they will take care of children, and at the very edge of the breakthrough of the children, or even when they have gotten their breakthrough, you just hear that, oh, something had happened to the husband and wife or to the parent, and they have died. It's not as tight as as we determined by God now, no. I mean, their life being cut short by the devil, by the enemy, by the powers of darkness, so that they labor laws. Pastor Peter and the wife, you will not labor laws. Your life, oh, yeah. you will enjoy in the Amen. name of Jesus. Your life Amen. will not be why he was going to so so and play? Oh, it was an accident. God forbid. Jesus. 
you will enjoy your children who have labored yeah. for the name yeah. of the Lord. Yeah. 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 Yes, someone, please, brethren, join me in prayer for four of my children, four children, four. Four children writing. I don't know whether I, I, this person, I don't that. He's saying four children writing John this month that God will count their effort with success and favor. Amen. And if anyone knows this person, uh, the four children too can be connected to me because I am organizing four days marathon uh, to this. Uh, I'm seeing the name here, Mama Ejima. I don't, I don't understand Mama Ejima. Okay, I guess he born the twin. So uh he has she has four children, and the four, <laughs> the four children are writing jazz. That is massive, that is serious. And they, that God will favor them with admission this year. So the 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 woman, if I can reach out myself so that the four children can attend, they don't have to come physically to the place. Because I'm organizing a very serious class, four days class, starting today at my group headquarters church. And it's going to be hours upon hours of teaching. So it's just a revision class for the jam students. So if I can reach her so that she can attend, as many whose children are writing the exam, including this woman, their children will be successful in that Amen. name. Their children will be successful by the power Amen. of God. Shall we talk to God in prayer for this woman now? That connected to us our children in church when we pray. That the sources, O Lord. But I got them sources, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. O Lord, this six people at this time, O Lord. Twenty four and for all, O Lord. I will write the exam, the success, and for all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You know, things are happening these days where you hear stories of children wanting to go and write jam and the rest of it, and then they, they had an accident, they had been story, and then they would just die. They are going to write the exam and they had an accident. Just like last week or two weeks ago now, one of the youth choir was coming from school, Epoma, and the boss had an accident, and that girl died, young, beautiful girl. That's how that girl lost her life completely. And when I looked at the picture, when the one of the youth choir members showed me, no, one will share tears, you will cry. In fact, when you see the scene of the accident, how they bust, whether it lost control and all that, or tired, I don't know. But the point is, the bus went like that. For these young people who are going to write exams, some of them are going to location where they will have to travel. You know, as the, some of our pastor children are writing here in the region. Even the state of Asia's son that I'm teaching to on my platform and all that, even himself is also writing. So we have leaders' children who are writing, and I'm taking a uh, different, many of them already. We are going to pray in the name of Jesus that nothing will happen to these children as they travel to write this exam. There will be no acid. There will be no... Their parents will not go to them. Their parents will not go to them. By the part of them, 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 go to them. 
Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, visit your people, Lord. Father, Lord, visit your people, Lord. Lord, in the name of Jesus, let your name be glorified in their life. Let your name be glorified in their life. Let your name be glorified in their life. And I will say, in the name of Jesus, I go for Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. We are going to pray right now for all our pastors. Uh, you heard my testimony this morning. And uh, it's actually... Uh, uh, well, I say more than some of the things, the way I used to say it, you know, sometimes you just want to summarize some things and all of that. But the point is that God is faithful and God cannot, as A.W. Tozer, A.W. Tozer who said, anything God is able to do, let me paraphrase, at any time he can do now. And anything God is able to do anywhere, he can do here. And anything God is able to do for any man, he can do for you. And uh, God is not selecting the people he's going to work with, uh, the people he's going to intervene in their situation. We are going to pray for the pastors and their family, as many who are still struggling, and they who are, I mean, when I mean struggling, I mean really struggling, financially and otherwise. Uh, I want us to understand something here, that when a man does not have a job doing, there's nothing to cover up here. Let me explain. When a man does not have money and does not have anything doing, even intimacy is going to be a problem, serious problem, whether a Christian home or not Christian home. And uh, not having money to take care of the children, whether Christian or not Christian, can be very frustrating. And uh, it breeds a lot of other issues in the family. And then before you know it, is either the woman or the man becoming touchy, touchy. That is, any little getting you angry, getting you unhappy. And then if you're not careful and you don't manage the situation well, it can lead to other tense situation, other tense situation. And that's why we want to really understand this and cry to God on behalf of as many of our leaders as many of our members on this platform who are struggling, mm -hmm. I'm struggling very seriously, that God will come to the rescue. God will Amen. come to the rescue. In the Amen. question of Jesus, by the power of the living God, the Lord will come to answer to them, the God of us. Yes. Most of them are still struggling, living from hand to mouth. They have nothing solid doing. Father in heaven, like the eye testimony of your son this morning, will not open windows of heaven for them to let them to so that they can also have better life here on earth, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. You have promised us the life of heaven on earth. Father, how is all these things in our house? How do you enjoy the life of heaven? Amen. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Amen. 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 Agreement with all the pastors and leaders and everyone on the platform. The Lord said to them, the Lord established them, Amen. and the Lord said to them, the Lord Amen. 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 They will testify in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We shall go round in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We want to pray for the uh, Pastor Matthew. We want to pray for Pastor Matthew. We want to ask the Lord right now, consigning his health first and foremost. Sometimes you, you hear Pastor Matthew, oh, for two days, he has not slept for so-so number of hours. Actually, those things have 
our effects on the health. And then it's not as if somebody don't want to sleep. There are many, many factors. We are going to pray in the name of Jesus. If there are things that have accumulated in the health, mm -hmm. they are potential to harm him, to mm -hmm. hurt him in the future. Let the God of heaven flush it now by the precious blood of Jesus. Amen. God in heaven, flush it and stabilize his health. Stabilize his health. Stabilize his health. In the name of all this, is he putting his all? Look at it by 1 a.m. Their time this morning. I connected, he was already there. The Lord God, never I meet him all before your throne. I pray that you will visit him, O Lord. Father, set to your servant, O Lord. Father, set to your servant, Lord. Father, set to your servant, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, Amen. In Matthew chapter 18, verse 18 and verse 19. Matthew 18, verse 18 and verse 19. I read from here. In Matthew 18, verse 18 and verse 19. Verily, verily, Jesus speaking, using the word verily now, of course, even if he had not used the word verily, you would still have believed him. But he's saying it because just to validate and just to show how what he's saying is absolute. Verily I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever ye shall be on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Here is verse 19. This verse 19 there is so critical that I do not joke with it. He said, again, I say to you that if two of you, just two now, that is husband and wife, that they may be parents and children, maybe family member, but at least minimum of two of you shall agree on it ha, as touching anything. Jesus is not a liar now. He's not a comedian that will say a joke a day old. as touching anything that they shall, be, they shall ask. It shall be done for them. It shall be done for them. It shall be done for them. of my father, which is in heaven. We want to settle that court case now. We want to put an court case. Now, I am not going to I'm not going to lead you. I'm not going to lead you on what to say concerning the court case. The summary is that we determine what will happen now. As you are led of the law. For the next two minutes, as you are led of the Lord, for the next two minutes, go to the Lord in prayer. Anything we do this morning shall be stand by God. In the life of your son, in your self, whatsoever, before we are going to end. And for this network this morning, we are about to eat of God. Father, it never will come to your throne of grace on behalf of Pastor Matthew as we go to church next three days. Father, we pray. We say to that matter right now. In the name of Jesus. Father, we say to that matter right now. Father, we pray. Father, we pray. the boy and the girl. In the name of Jesus. Angels will be returned to me. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Though so shall it be. As we make Amen. a declaration, okay, let's keep talking to God in prayer. To God. We decree okay. in the name of Jesus according to your words. Let's pray. 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 Let's pray.
Amen. Yeah, Pastor Peter, stand up for us as we call Pastor Matthew. Thank you, sir. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, please, before we uh, round up, Pastor Yomi, I want you to quickly go over your testimony again because it was just three of us where you shared that testimony. And now we have more people so that. Uh, uh, our brethren will know that truly God is doing something amongst us. Please, just before I round up, sir. Okay, I was saying that in, uh, in February, I applied for, actually before this time, um, I do a lot of online teaching and people tend to reach me from different places, Canada, US and all that. So at a point I was taking a student to the University of Pacific in California and they were even paying in a pain in dollar and all that. So God has just been faithful connecting me to different places because I take different subjects or courses and all the math, physics, chemistry, and the rest. But something happened in February, and uh, this one was undergraduate teaching for math and chemistry or math and physics. So then I applied and sent my videos of my teaching online to them. If I knew it, they sent a reply and all that. Then I send another thing. I send mass. I even sent physics video to them and all that. To cut a long story short, that was in March 9. I got an email, congratulations, and uh, myself and one other person. Then they had a meeting with us on Zoom and um, on Google Meet and told us why two of us uh, were taking and all that, what they saw and all that. Then later, the doctor, Dr. JGB, I think he's a Yoba name, and then he had a meeting with me on Zoom and was telling me my kind of person. He has not met me, but I was surprised. He was shocked about my kind of person uh, because we used to exchange mail and all that. So he, he practically told me I was preferred, and, uh, and he was even saying to the point that he would tell the owner of the school, because the school is based in Canada, Ontario. But it's a global university, so I don't have to go to Canada to teach. I'm teaching from the house. I can teach from any part of the world. So he basically now told me that he want to tell, the, he has told the president that they should permanent me. They will not send the MOU, eight pages MOU to me, uh, which I read through and they uh, have signed and sent back to them as well. So mm -hmm. I resumed yes. last week and they have started the lecturing already. That's Western Pinnacle University. You can check it up on, on Google. So I lectured in chemistry and mathematics courses. So that's what God has done. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our Father, we just worship you. Yeah. King of glory, we bless your name this morning. Father, you said that by the word of testimony, assurance will be built and faith will be solid. This morning, we thank you on behalf of your son, what you have done in his life. Like we keep telling him, this is just the beginning. More and more is still coming. But I will say, be that exalted in his life, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We thank you for the privilege to pray this morning. We thank you for all the families that are connected. We adore your name for the requests we have brought before you. And Father, like we were discussing yesterday night, that you are not a God of plenty number. You gave us an example to say, if two or three, we agree together and pray that you in heaven we hear and you answer. And this morning again, we are more than two. Like I said yesterday, we are always more than your requirements. That shows, oh Lord, that you are with us, you are hearing us, and you are doing great things. And this morning, this testimony has lifted up our spirit that truly you have done great things in the life of our beloved brother. Praise for our Savior, that exalted, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Amen. Commit every other person here into your hands. Father, as our faces are different, so our challenges are different. Oh Lord God in heaven, whatsoever we are asking for, we are knocking heaven for. Father, we pray that you answer us so that our joy will be full in Jesus' name. Amen. That's our beloved brother Chidoze that said he's not feeling very well. Oh Lord, going now, we are prayed for him. We pray that strength from above will come upon him. Healing from above will come upon him. This morning, he will testify of your goodness, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. And that our beloved sister, the year Beji, that said, our four children. Yes, we will pray for her on Saturday. And again, this morning, we have prayed. We pray, Father, that you will answer her. Like Pastor Dakbo was saying, he doesn't know how the four children come together. That she has four children at once. Oh Lord God, never was so ever that has called his first children to meet at this point or jam together. If it was the spirit of delay that was delayed some for others to meet them. Father, we cancel that spirit in their life. And we declare the goal this time in the name of Jesus. They will all succeed, they will get breakthrough, they will get beyond their past mark, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. And in unity of faith, we connect other children, children of our leaders, children of our brothers, children of our sisters that are also uh, doing this jam this time. Father in heaven, we pray, oh Lord, that you will lift up the head of your children because you said your word, they will be above all. You will not be beneath in the name of Jesus. Amen. In this exact we decree, they will succeed, O oh Lord, and they will be above all in, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I thank you for that wonderful request that my wife put through, that uh, God will grant our children lucrative jobs, work that will be passionable, work that they will be able to end well, so that we also will be able to also enjoy the fruit of our labor. Oh Lord, go in heaven, I pray that you open heaven, oh Lord, and connect those children like you have answered the prayer of our pastor this morning, this testimony we have had. Father, I pray, oh Lord, you connect these children so that they also will get international jobs like that, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Go in heaven, we lift up and so much, oh Lord, into your hands. This is the week that Akiyomi will be testifying in the court. Father in heaven, we pray for that young lad that you will use him to resolve this matter when he opens his mouth in the court. So the boldness in it to be able to spread out what it is. Let the jury see that truly this man has been there for his family. Father, I pray that boldness will grant unto our Kiyomi Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Take away the spirit of fear. Every manipulation, they want to manipulate that boy. Like I had last time, the grandmother was shouting on him. Why, why are you in court? What are you doing here? Father in heaven, we pray every manipulation, we cancel it. We pray that boldness from above will put upon him so that we speak boldly in the name of Jesus. Amen. At the end of Thursday, Lord, we pray. Our pastor will come with testimony. How you have favored him, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Commit every other brother on platform this morning to your hand, Pastor Barney. Other brethren that is online this morning with us, Pastor Mike, Pastor Yomi, and uh, other people. We pray that you meet every one of us in the points of our needs, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Yeah. We call, oh Lord, Father, you favor us. Father God, this week, O oh Lord, you will favor us. Father, at the end of this week, we we'll come back next week to testify of your goodness in our lives, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the answer prayers, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Pastor Matthew, please. Our time has gone. It's already 2 o'clock. So, um... I will just advise that the 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 brother that is the you will see that it is sister that ask for bro work for her 
husband. You can see how touching it is. Uh, I believe the as Pastor uh, uh, Omore was say that God that can walk anywhere can walk here. That oh, God yes. that at any time can walk now. Now. That God mm -hmm. that can walk for any person can walk for that particular brother. Uh, mm -hmm. There are a lot of times that it, sometimes I discuss with some, one of our pastors that uh, in my language they say what you are looking for in Sukutu is in Sukutu. Is in uh, Chukutu. Uh -huh. the, 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 the Moses who wanted to cross the Red Sea. The answer is in his hand. He's still calling upon the name of the Lord. But God did that. Yeah. 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 And see, and then he spread the, 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 the Lord, the Red Sea was divided. You call upon the name of the, of the brother. There's a lot of job in Nigeria. Many people are just deceiving themselves. The by uh, uh, please do not misquote me. I know many people are the, in in e commerce. There are some job we call uh, somebody will be working, but it's not satisfied. Somebody will be doing a lot of as uh, pastor. You may have testimony. It's very uh, we thank God for somebody like him. We have a lot of testimony, and uh, recently I think I sent something to Pastor uh, Peter. 